My name is Eric Schwartz. I'm a cardiologist at Cardiovascular Specialist of Central Maryland, and I work at Howard County General Hospital. A pacemaker is a small mechanical device that's really made up of two components. The first is a battery, which is implanted underneath the skin near the left shoulder using about a two or three inch incision. The second is a wire that's connected to the battery and goes through a blood vessel down to the heart. From inside the heart, it then control slow heart rhythms. There are several reasons why a patient might require a pacemaker. The most common reason that our patients require a pacemaker is typically they have symptoms like lightheadedness, dizziness, or passing out that is associated with their slow heart rate. These slow heart rates can be a process associated with their natural aging of the electrical system that controls the heart, or it can also be a result of a complication from a heart attack. A defibrillator is very similar to a pacemaker. It's implanted the exact same way as a pacemaker is put in, except the battery is slightly bigger. The wire that comes out of the defibrillator and sits inside the heart is used to be able to regulate the heart and watch for dangerous irregular heartbeats. So only patients with very specific heart conditions are candidates for defibrillators. Typically, these are patients who have had previous heart attacks, who have weak hearts, and have congestive heart failure. Other patients are patients who have had a cardiac arrest, either at home or in the hospital, that required CPR for some period of time in order to qualify to get one of these devices. So defibrillators are used to treat very dangerous and irregular heartbeats. These heartbeats occur all of a sudden and often are lethal in most patients. The defibrillator has a wire that sits inside the heart that is able to recognize these irregular heartbeats and treat it by using a very powerful shock that is designed to restore the normal heart rhythm and potentially save that person's life. So there are very minimal procedural risks associated with putting in either a pacemaker or a defibrillator. These typically are infection of the device itself or bleeding risks. The doctor who's putting the devices in will go over all the detailed risks before the procedure is done on that day. The benefits of these devices, though, can be numerous. Specifically, they can make our patients feel better, they can alleviate symptoms that they may have been having, and they can also prolong or save lives. Absolutely. The procedure typically takes about an hour to an hour and a half. The patients are brought in in the morning. The procedure is done that morning. And then the patients spend the night in the hospital with us and are typically discharged the next day. Recovery from a pacemaker or defibrillator is actually fairly easy. There's going to be some minimal soreness associated with the surgical site that's easily controlled with either Tylenol or some more strong narcotic pain medications. Patients will be seen typically one week later in our office to check on the wound, and then after that, we follow them every three to six months to check on the device. Before any patient gets a pacemaker or defibrillator, they should have a very open conversation with their physician as to the specific reason that they need that device and what potential benefit that they would see in terms of whether their symptoms would be improved or whether or not they are at risk for having dangerous irregular heartbeats. They need to know that there is a change in their quality of life after these devices are implanted because we must now follow them on an every three to six month basis in order to check the device. As long as they are open and understanding about those type of risks and the benefits, then I think that most devices will go in smoothly for patients.